G'day, I'm Craig from Insane Cycles and today we're going to do a bit of wheel building. I've got an old Shimano hub, I've got a brand new Mavic rim, I'm going to lace them together. First thing we need to do is take some measurements so we can get that spoke length. Once we've got the measurements, we plug them into a spoke calculator. Uh, the one I use is Spoke Calc Express. It's already got measurements for hubs and rims in there. Um, download it free off the net. Righto. Um, to get the measurements, we're going to need the distance between the centre and the flange. We're going to need the diameter of the holes. And then uh, we can work that out. Righto. So, uh, first thing we need is the complete distance. Measure that up with a set of verniers or a tape measure. Then we're going to need the distance from here to the flange. To do that, we need a little vice. Just going to measure from the vice up to the flange. That's going to be our measurement there. Our next measurement is this distance. The same. Okay, so I've done a rough sketch, sketched in all the measurements we need to take up at the front. Now, to get the actual measurements we're going to poke into uh, the calculator, we're going to divide the whole distance by 2 and then subtract this distance and that'll give us the distance from the flange to the centre. The other thing we need is the rims ERD. Now this will be on the manufacturer's website or if you're using Spoke Calc Express like me um, you can actually download them, they'll all be on that program. Okay, so now I've done those calculations we'll see on the left hand side we've got 32.5 and on the right hand side we've got 19.5. So we'll go whack them in Spoke Calc Express and see how we go. Okay, as we can see using a three cross pattern it gives us a spoke length of 260.1 on the left and 258.8 on the right. Um, we're going to round down spokes that generally go up in increments of 2 mils. Okay, so your B-type rims are most common. So what we need to do now is lace up the hub. I'm going to use different coloured spokes just to make things a little bit clearer. What we want to do, it's not important but it's good practice. Find your logo on your hub, drive side up, you're going to insert a spoke straight down the centre of the logo. Okay. So our next spoke on a B-type rim is going to go to the left. If it was an A-type rim, you put it on the right. So you get your next spoke and put it in there. Now what you need to do is go around in every second hole you need to put a spoke in. Okay, we're going to double check. There's a spoke in every second hole. And we're going to carefully turn the hub over. Put a spoke down all the vacant holes. You can see I'm using black and white spokes and it's going to demonstrate something later on when we, we come to lace the, the rim. Okay, so now we've got all our spokes in. I'm just going to flip the hub back up so the drive side's up. Sit it on our bench. Okay, so now we've got the, the hub laced. We've got to sit 